So I think the most important thing for anybody coming to compete here in the 90 or 100 three-day event is fitness. Fitness is so crucial to this cross-country long format part of it all. You have to make sure that your horse is ready to, and fit to compete. So the main tips I would be thinking about in the lead up to this is, first of all, you'll be doing roughly an hour's worth of riding on your horse solidly with the 10 minute in the middle where you have a little break, but an hour's worth of riding. So you have to be able to go already out on a hack for an hour and know you're very competent with that. For me, then what I would like to do is go out for a hack for an hour, come straight back into my arena or field that I work in, and then maybe do five minutes of canter work. So my horse is already starting to get prepared and I can start to judge after that five minutes of canter work, after the hour worth of work, how is my horse feeling? Is my horse feeling a little bit tired? That to me is a bit of a gauge already of where my horse's fitness is at. Then for me, once I've had a good fitness session like that, the next day I want to show jump my horse. So I can already start to get a feel of where my horse's fitness is at show jumping after it's had a bit of a hard fitness day. So there would be my check-ins for fitness, but the actual fitness plan, I mean, is gonna be very relevant to you. If your horse is already doing lots of hacking and, and you've done those little checks and actually maybe you don't need to overly change your fitness plan. If you do those checks and it feels really hard, then maybe speak to a local coach, a British eventing Howden Way coach would certainly be helpful. Um, and then beyond that, for me, a plan would be maybe integrating a bit of interval training. So for this level, I'd maybe just be thinking of three minutes cantering, two minutes rest, three minutes cantering, two minutes rest, three minutes cantering. So just three lots of three should be sufficient. But within that three minutes of cantering, lots of gear changes. So you're not just going to be cantering the same speed for the whole time. So yeah, fitness is the most crucial part of this event, especially as it is in October and it can certainly be a little bit wet.